Hello and welcome to One Market View. In this video, you will learn how to add strategies and studies to your charts. Let us view the Nifty chart by clicking on the Nifty index here. Let us change the time frame to 5 minutes. Zooming in. Press S in your keyboard to open studies list. Here you can see we have over 200 studies and counting. You can filter out your favorite study by simply click typing in the filter bar. For this video, I will add Signal Super Trend. Double clicking it will open the Parameters tab. Here you can see various inputs. Multiplier. I will change it to 2. Add. If you look closely, you can see now there are buy and sell signals in your Nifty chart. Going back to the studies list, I'll add strategy basic. Parameters. There are signal parameters and stop loss parameters. Let us see what the chart looks like with no stop loss parameters. Clear. Add. Volume. I will remove the volume by clicking on this little X mark here. I'll make changes to the stop loss parameters. You can go back to your strategy basic parameters by either clicking on strategy basic here or using the keyboard shortcut of Ctrl and A. So let's try that. Press Ctrl A in your keyboard. Here you can see the study manager. This will show you all the studies and signals. Here is Strategy Basic. Double click. Parameters of Strategy Basic. Now let's stop change the stop type from percentage to rupees and the entry stop to 10. If the price goes below rupees 10 from your entry point, Stop loss will be triggered. Modify. Here you can see stop loss. Let's make further changes to the parameter. Trail trigger. Trail trigger trigger starts only after achieving this much profit in case of buy signal. Let's change that to 2. And trail stop trails price by the value mentioned here. So let's change that to 2 as well. Modify. You can see here your stop loss and your trail trigger. As you see, we kept entry stop loss at 10, but trail trigger and trail stop loss very small. Thus, it got triggered and the trade got closed really quick. So let's further modify the strategy. Let's change the trail stop to 5. Modify. You can see slight changes. Let's modify it further. Let's change it to 10. Modify. A bigger rally. Going back to stop loss parameters. Same way, you can change the profit target. In sideways market, stop increment will go on changing the value of stop loss by incremental factors and stop loss will be triggered, thus keeping you out of the market so that your money can be deployed in another stock. Now let us look at the settings button. Money. Long position size. This amount is used for backtesting and not live trading. However, if you keep this amount zero or below cost, no signals generated, thus no trading will take place. Fixed quantity, in case of FNO, signifies lots. Next we look at duration. 
It is used for backtesting how many bars you want to backtest or from a start date to an end date. End bar. If you change end date to today, it will not change automatically tomorrow. You will have to reset it. Next we have the stop tab. Stop tab is used to define how stops will be triggered during trading or backtesting. When set to high line, low line, the stop loss will be executed only if high or low of bar penetrates stop loss. But when set to close line, stop loss will be executed only if close of bar is above or below stop line. Modify here. Let's go back to the parameters. Settings. Intra rules. Intra rules are for timings. Click on close all position at checkbox button. This means all trading would stop at 3.20 p.m. Click on OK. Modify. As you can see, all the trade has stopped before 3.20 p.m. 319. Thank you for watching and stay tuned for more videos. Don't forget to like and subscribe.